on, but it's like going through the like the Netflix shows and like movies and stuff. So like for some reason I keep glancing at them. Comment down below if you've seen the movie. Um so what's it called? What's it called? What's it called? someone great is out it's called i don't remember it's like it's not the best movie in the entire world but it's like a like a comfort movie for me i i could watch that movie all the time just playing in the background while i'm doing stuff i don't know something about that movie i love
you should watch New Girl. It's such a funny show. It's so popular. But it's about three guys that are roommates and then a girl moves in. And it's like a quirky, funny comedy show. Um, but if you haven't watched it, it's on Hulu. And it's a phenomenal show. Also, if you're a guy and you're listening to this, and you're like, I don't know, sounds lame. Like, my stepdad loves this show. My boyfriend loves this show. Like, I don't know, men love New Girl. Men love Men love New Girl. Women love New Girl, but like, so do men. Men love New Girl. It's like Pitch Perfect, but like, less girly. Like, Pitch Perfect is arguably like, surprisingly, a lot of men love it. But like, men love Pitch Perfect. I don't know what it is. If you're a man, you haven't watched Pitch Perfect, you should watch it because men love Pitch Perfect. I don't know why. I don't know a single man that doesn't like Pitch Perfect that's seen it, so. Next show, Queer Eye. Um, I think it's, I think there's a queer eye before and it's like a new queer eye um but they're on like their seventh season i think this time and it's um five gay guys um so there's jonathan who does hair and make or not makeup hair and like i don't know grooming um and then there's dan who does fashion bobby who does design anthony who does like food and then karamo um, who does, like, culture or whatever, um, and so, basically, people, well, everyday people from whatever city they're in will get nominated, um, to, like, be helped people who have been, like, struggling in life or don't know how to take care of themselves, um, and, or, I don't know, and so, what they'll do is they'll give them, like, a redo, like, hair and, um, grooming or whatever, like, usually the people have kind of, like, let go, or they have self-esteem issues, so they don't keep up with stuff, um, and they kind of just really help people, I don't know, I don't know, it's fun, I like that show a lot, I cry most episodes, my boyfriend loves that show, um, and then another show, I'm gonna get another donut, sorry, I need to do more mouth sounds, um, and the other show, The other show is Welcome to Wrexham, which we're only two episodes in, but it's a soccer documentary about a, um, a football team, a soccer team, depending on where you're from. Um, I'm from the United States, so I say soccer, but a soccer team um, that is from Wrexham, Wales. I think the city is named Wrexham. And so this soccer team is just like below where they want to be. Um, and this team has been trying to like get higher ranked or whatever. Um, but for some reason, um, Ryan Reynolds and um, is, is his name Rob? Rob McElhaney, um, the two actors, obviously, if you don't know who Ryan Reynolds is. And then Rob, Rob I think it's Rob McElhaney, they buy this soccer team and their plan is to try to bring it up um but it's a documentary you know um it started around covid times i think it only has two seasons but it's a pretty good show so far um so if you're interested in any of them or you've seen any of them comment down below
these earbuds out. Like, I feel like the earbuds are what was, like, making my jaw hurt so much. Also, doing ASMR, doing ASMR without headphones is so weird for me. Like, like, I have no idea what it sounds like. I have no idea what I get, what it sounds like, sounds like, sounds like, sounds like, sounds like. And then also, like, I feel like, like a bull, like, doing mouth sounds, because, like, Like this picks it up heavy, like more. 